let me know if this story sounds familiar. Maybe at a different time, a different place, a few different details, but if you're of a certain age, I think this will resonate. So it's 1993, US President is Bill Clinton, and Jurassic Park has just scared the life out of me, blown my mind, and inspired me to start to get into filmmaking. And in rural Northern Ireland, it is a dark, cold winter's night, and I'm at home wishing that I had one of the Talkboy tape recorders from Home Alone 2 that came out the previous Christmas. And there's a storm blowing outside. It's loud, it's scary, but it's okay, because we're inside. We've got a warm coal and turf fire going. It smells amazing, and we don't care, because we're warm and we're cozy. But then there's either a gust of wind, or maybe it was a distant lightning strike, and the lights go out. And we're left there, sitting in the darkness. The only light left is the fading embers of the fire. And my dad goes and he gets the candles that are kept specially for such an occasion as this. Be honest, you all had park cut candles. Let me know if you did. And the candles are lit. And we've got light again. But our dinner was a pot of stew that was on the electric stove and it was not heated up and it's now rapidly succumbing to the effects of thermodynamics and turning into what can only be described as a lukewarm sludge. So my dad goes and he takes the pot off the stove and he sets it into the dying embers of the fireplace and 10 minutes later, we're all sitting there enjoying our warm bowls of stew and loving this new adventure. Fast forward 20 years, and yeah, I can't believe it's been 20 years since 1993 either, but anyway, fast forward 20 years, and we now have technology like this that would have made my dad's head explode back in 1993. This is the Anchor Solix C1000, and this is a rechargeable power station that you can take along in your outdoor adventures with you, or you can keep in your home for emergencies. This thing is capable of charging my phone about 90 times, at least 90 times. Uh, you could also run a refrigerator off it for about 14 hours. It's got nine different ports. It's got four AC ports, two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, and a car socket here on the front. The AC ports output by default 1800 watts, which is quite a lot, but they'll also surge up to 2,400 watts. So it's got a ton of power for a range of appliances. Okay, well, let's take a look at some of the things I can use this for, and I'm gonna start with breakfast. I can use it to run an electric heater if I get too cold. And then I can use it to run an electric fan if I get too hot. Ah. Oh, my face is really conflicted right now. <laughs> That's so weird. It'll charge all my gadgets and gizmos. I can use it to charge my electric bike. It can power the electric pump for my paddleboard, much to the delight of anyone with an earshot. One of my favorite features is the built-in light. It's got three different levels and it's bright enough to light up the entire inside of the van. This light is perfect when I'm wanting to just wind down in the evening. I can just push the button and let it run. I can use it in my van to power my light strips and this will power those light strips for 97 hours. So I could leave that light on four days straight. Now, you might have seen other power stations before. These things have been everywhere over the last few years, but this one is a little bit different because this one has got handles, which means you can use it as a kettlebell to get some sweet, sweet gains. Okay, maybe don't do that. <laughs> Here's what actually is different about this power station and probably the biggest thing off the bat is how fast you can charge this. This is capable of charging from zero to 100% in 58 minutes. 
By comparison, my other power station that I have actually have less capacity than this takes four hours to charge. That's particularly important to me if I'm using this in my van and I'm traveling around and I might only have access to a plug or socket for a short period of time. I can stick this into the hyper fast mode and woof, uh, get it charged up, whereas I just wouldn't have time to wait around for four hours. And just in case you want to harness the power of the sun, um, this thing has solar input and if you've got 600 watts of solar going into it, it'll charge the battery full in less than two hours. Now, power stations are not cheap and a lot of people are worried about longevity. This thing comes with a five-year warning and it's designed to last for 10 years. If you buy one of these in the Black Friday sale, you get £250 off, which means you end up paying about £750 for it, which means that over the expected lifespan of this power station, it'll cost you about £1.50 per week, which is pretty good. Now, I actually own two other power stations, and I nearly turned this one down until I saw the features that I had, and this is now the power station that will be living in my van and going with me everywhere. Because here's what's important to me. Well, first of all, you've got that really fast charging, but also this power station has got enough juice in it to allow me on one of my filmmaking trips to go off grid uh, for two to three days. And this will power everything I need. It'll power my lights, it'll power my laptop, it'll charge my cameras, it'll, it'll power a, a travel kettle I've got in the van, it'll top up my e-bike. Um, I can also use this to run a George Foreman grill to make some toasties and I can even run a small fan heater in the mornings just to take the chill out of the air at night. I do have to kind of balance all those things. I obviously can't run a fan heater solid for three days um, or I'll run it out but it's got just enough power um, that will let me do everything I need to do for those two three days I'm off grid. And one great thing about this power station is it's much smaller than the one I'm currently using so I'm gaining a lot of space so that's slightly less capacity but they are going to be releasing an expansion battery for this which is going to double the capacity and it means it's there if I need it so most of the time I'll just take this unit along takes up less space if I'm going to be away for a longer trip I can bring the expansion battery along with me which will double my space. One thing I don't like about the power station I have been using in my van is that when you use it with a higher power device it can be quite noisy it's got a very loud fan fan on this is much, much quieter. This power station will discharge, it'll operate down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. The one I've been using is only really rated to around minus one or two. So that means if this is left in the van on a cold winter's night, I can still rely on it. It's still going to switch on. It's still going to work when I power it on in the morning. It is bump and drop proof. So if I hit an unexpected pothole or a speed bump, and the power station goes as it sometimes does it's not going to damage it it's designed to detect that it's solid and it's ruggedly built something else that annoys me with the current power station i've been using is that to charge it i have to use this it's two cables a big chunky brick of a transformer it's a nuisance to store in the van and it's just extra things to keep hold of to charge this on the other hand all i need is this cable that's it there is no external power brick you just plug that in everything's internal and it's a lot lot handier and also cleverly is the fact that if i want to charge it from the cigarette socket in my van it comes with this extra long cable previously if i wanted to charge my power station the cable that came with it to use with the car socket was so short i had to take it put it in the front seat and plug it in whereas this will reach all the way from the front of the van into the back, which means I'm much more likely to charge this while I'm driving because I don't have to move it, I just have to plug in the cable. It's a small thing, but actually it's a really clever thing and it's something that makes this a lot more appealing for someone who's a little bit lazy like me. So here are a few other features and things you should know about this battery. You can use it as a UPS, that stands for an uninterruptible power supply. So that means you can plug this into the wall and then you can plug vital equipment into this, say something like a computer that you need to leave on all the time. And that way, if there's a power cut, the computer just keeps running it's as if nothing happened. There is an app that lets you connect to the power station over Bluetooth. And with that app, you can enable the hypercharge mode. The app also lets you enable power scheduling so you could turn off a piece of equipment after a certain length of time. And there's a few other features in the app as well. And it also lets you keep the firmware of the power station up to date. 
So, I gotta be honest at the end here and say that until recently, a power station was not something that I knew I needed in my life. Possibly because I didn't even know this existed, but since getting one, I'm completely converted over there. So useful, especially if, like me, you're someone who travels around in a van with a ton of gadgets. But besides that, it is a really useful thing just to have in the house because I know that if we ever have a power cut, that I've got enough energy in this to power pretty much everything in the house that's essential. I've tried a few different brands of power, of power station now, and I'm not just saying this. Um, the Anchor has impressed me the most of them all because of them all, it has the best build quality that I've seen of the three different brands that I've tried. It's got the best sort of weight to power ratio. It's got the best warranty, five years. The other one, the best I had was two, two years. So the Anchor Solix C1000 portable power station launched in the UK on the 6th of November. And if you're interested in getting one, you can get £250 discount during the Black Friday sale. So if you're interested in that, head to the description and click the link. But thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.